Hey guys, it's Dee Dee Crow with My Favorite Groomer. All right, we've got Toto here, a brand new client. Uh, you can see right there he is not being walked regularly. He's fighting the collar and leash. I told mom it would take probably five minutes or so to get him used to walking properly. Brownie learned in like 30 seconds. That night we rescued him out of a home with 27 dogs. So walking and exercise is very important for a dog. It's very important for a Shih Tzu who is going to be getting groomed for, probably for the rest of his life about every two to three months, I would hope. If it were my pet, the Shih Tzu would be groomed at least on a monthly basis and brushed every single day so that there's no knots and the pet is definitely used to brushing and grooming because this is all part of the grooming process. We will see if he actually fights me. He's wore out from just tumbling himself and fighting the leash and collar. Um, he's a new client. I'm his fourth groomer at his age and I think he's only eight months old. She said mainly it was because she didn't like the fact that uh, the dog, just now she reminded me, mainly it's because she didn't like the fact that her dog would be there all day. But I think um, there might be some other things that have happened there because I kind of remember the conversations we had, but we, we booked a, a few weeks ago. And if I didn't come in today on a mobile grooming day and get her in even three weeks ago, booking it for today, she wouldn't have been able to get in for about a total of two months. So with that in mind, it tells you how busy somebody can be and also what they can do if they really want to help you and your animal out. Um, I don't know that I would do it again because uh, it's already four o'clock in the afternoon here and I've been grooming all day so it's very it's very tough for me to decide to do mobile and then come back to the salon on my way on my way by uh, to come in so it's really you know it's really tolling and I didn't have to do it it was my choice it's my choice to help her because I knew she wouldn't be able to get in for another month and if I didn't get her in on her day off, then um, I would have I would have thought that she would go somewhere else, which is fine. But she would also not her if she waited for me, her dog would be in a whole nother place. I don't think she would have gone somewhere else. She really wanted to wait for me, and I was like, oh gosh, it's going to take a while to get in if I do it that way. So I bent over backwards today to get her dog in. Um, I am kind of talking because I want to just say why, like a couple things. I'm on the wall here because he's at home called the devil dog which I told her eh, I wouldn't call him the devil dog try a different nickname because usually when you name your dog a certain nickname like that they actually start to act like their nickname and she said he's very hyper and she's been told that by other groomers and um, I told her by the time I get done grooming him we might find that he would probably be better off if he was walking and knew how to walk on a leash that would help him and his energy a lot and I, I just said, I don't, I don't know. I have to groom him first and then we'll see. So I've never groomed him before. We're trying to do like half off the body or right about half off a little tiny bit more. Um, depending on his attitude, I might be able to do that for her. I might not. If I can't do it with the guard, if he's been acting like a wild mess, then I will call her back and say, I've got to go shorter or I'm just going to keep it pretty, uh, pretty even or whatnot. And then, um, I won't continue doing a guard. It takes a lot longer on a dog that's not going to cooperate. So we'll see now if he'll let me do like a four guard all over. If not, we will try to call her back and, and get, uh, get some approval on what we want to do. So what I'm going to do is a four guard down with a template on my Andis five speed. And when I get started, I'm going to do some areas that are not s so visible. So that in case I need to change something, then I'm able to do that. All right, so uh, forgive me for being uh, pretty straightforward and moving quickly at this point, but it's been a very long day and a lot has been going on and um, we have a lot to do and it's late. All right, so just want to be understanding on that. Okay, thank you, let's get started. So since I don't know him all that well, I am being quite careful careful with his demeanor, the way I picked him up on the ground, I was really watching everything on his behavior. Yeah, so he's up. Get your muzzle ready. So we're gonna do, yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna do, I just went ahead and took it off. I didn't even do a conspicuous area. chunk of white stuff on the ground right there. You'll see it right there by the wood uh, lobby desk.
when mom came in, um, I honestly was like, do you need to stay and assist? And she's like, I don't think so. So you just never know what you're gonna get, especially what the, the nickname she gave him is to, to me, it's like, wow. I, you know, I probably would never want to call my dog that ever. But we're all different people, so. Let's see if I wanna do this dog upstairs, the small dog upstairs or the mini. Thanks for cleaning that up. He came in, he peed on the floor, and he also then hacked up, hacked up something white. Um, so mom said that it was rainy, so she didn't take him potty, and I said, yes, you, please, you, it does say potty, uh, and I do, you know, your dog comes in and pees everywhere, it, there are charges for that, so please give your time, good dogs time to potty. It's very important they don't come in to a store, and the first thing they do is potty. Uh, she did say that, you know, he kind of pees when he's excited, so really what you should do is uh, the dog should not be talked to at that moment, in my opinion. You walk into the salon, you switch hands, here's the leash. So the, another reason that probably it was uh, affected was because he came in without a leash, right? And running around everywhere and stuff. And unfortunately, I don't, I don't really like that kind of thing because there's no control and I would not let my children do that. So I would not let my dog do that to someone's home or facility. She did say she wanted to do uh, short feet. So what I'm gonna do is that seven down at the feet level. So I'm doing some of the four here, but I'm not gonna stay with the four. And he's not doing the jumping around that I'm thinking he might wanna do. He's doing some yawny stuff though. I have him against the wall so I have some control because I thought he was gonna be really wild. I could probably get away with moving him from the wall, but we'll see. I, I've got this vibe, a worry vibe from him, so I'm just playing it all out here. He might not let me blow dry him, so we will see soon. Uh, so I'm gonna, what I mean is we will see, but since I have that feeling from him, I'm gonna try to make sure his haircut is, is really good to go in case he doesn't let me revisit the haircut after. Or what I mean is, in case the hair is too wet for me to do another haircut. Okay. He's real like leery, right? He's looking at me, whipping it. I'm looking at all that kind of stuff. I need to really work around the dog upstand, so I'm moving the mini under here to see if it kind of helps me a little bit more. His hair is real fine and uh, sticking in there with static to the guard, so I'm kind of stopping to move it out. My thing is, is that the walking for me is a dog. You know, it, it, with it's, if he doesn't know how to walk on the leash, usually he doesn't. He's not going to be real cooperative with the groom loop. Groom loop. I'm gonna come down with the seven on the feet so I'm not spending too much time here. All right, straight up. She didn't quite tell me about the face though. She was, uh, I remember she said, she got to a point she was about to say about the face, but she was like, I either need to put him down or bring him outside. So I forgot, I, well, I didn't forget, I just didn't hear, she didn't get to finish her sentence. Okay, so let's do a coup, two guard reverse.
Yeah, I have a feeling he's not gonna let me blow dry him, you guys. Because he's real worried about stuff. He seems like this is kind of new to him, but not. Or he's got, it, eh, it, eh, look down. Good, good, good. All this hair, man. Let me see. Move forward. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and move into the seven here. And do that here on the legs, bottom of the feet. Not bottom of the feet, but top of the feet and the legs here. That you wanted the feet short so this is what i would do because i've done this a lot in the past with the or I do, i've done this a lot with a lot of pet owners and they love it In doing this, I'm seeing he has rear dew claws, so you want to make sure you don't forget to do those. Really getting a sanitary, uh, just underneath the legs there. He's got a lot of poop, so you'll be able to see that. We'll get to that in a minute. Got a lot of poop stuck back there. What I would be doing is, uh, on my dogs, I would, you know, if you can't see their butt, then I would make sure it's a point that I get to look at their butt about once a week and kind of just check it out at least. If you have time to do it more, great. You want to make sure there's no poop stuck on there because it'll just dry up and rip off and cause bloodiness and scab or whatever. So seven down here. So don't, he's not doing that bad, is he? Come back with your tin. We're going to come do the sanitary together here. Okay, here. I'm going to move this camera for us. Even though I have some decent lighting, it's still tough. You see all that poop in there? All right, we're about to take it off, and it's tightened up against the hair, so that's got to be uncomfortable. Get your tin blade. Get your new tin blade or whatnot. This would definitely bother me. All that dried poop there stuck there. And before I dig further, I want to see if he's intact. And it feels like he has uh, stitches actually. So I wouldn't just dig straight down there and I have no idea he's got scrotum in the way. Ah, ah. You don't want him doing a bunch of moving in this area. That's not a good thing. Stand. He's young enough to stand up. Another reason I don't like dogs coming in and they're all without a leash and stuff is that, and you guys have seen it in my salon, if someone comes in and their dog's running around, well, you don't see it very often. But you've seen it when they've come in and they've had fleas. So now you've got this dog that was running around the entire store and he gets on the table, I'm grooming him and he has fleas. Oh, that would be upsetting. Now there might be fleas everywhere. So containment is great. And then having your dog on a leash is important when you walk into a store or salon. Okay, we're gonna do the armpits here. Bring him forward. And then we're gonna do the sanitary. Finish up the face pads. I'm gonna bring you forward, bud. You're gonna come into the sanitary here and move this. I like to go backwards with my 10, skim a little bit, kind of see what I'm working with first, where the skin lines are. Sometimes there's a tummy skin line right there. And I actually come down most of the tummy here. I like that nice and clean here in Texas when they lay on the ground while it's hot. 
I think my dogs would really appreciate that. I know Saki does. Okay, up. I can't tell if he's had surgery, but it does feel like he has. Because he's still got some sack. Oh. He still has a... He, he has had surgery, but he's got some color in there. So let me see if he'll let me get in with the clippers if he won't. He's got lots of buildup, and I told mom, you know, I would want all this gone because it's wet. It, it might turn into a yeast. It could turn into a yeast infection. So she says, okay, so that's where we're good to go here. I'm going to get all this maroon stuff out of there. Wash your pet's faces daily, in my opinion, if you have this kind of scenario. Let me see, buddy. Good boy. It's all wet. See, it's sticking to my fingers. That's how much drainage is coming out of his eyes. Okay, let me see, let me see. Let me see, good boy. That's a good boy, hi, good boy. Yes, thank you. Thank you, yes, we got that out. I'm gonna revisit that here in a minute. I'm gonna get a, my 40 blade. We'll come try out the feet here together. Callum, get the 40 blade, come here. Okay, I'm going to turn you around. Come here. Use this for yourself. Ah, ah, ah. No, no, don't argue. Don't argue. Toto. Here, use this. Good boy. You're with me here. You see? Go forward. You're pulling on yourself here. Leash leash walking is gonna help this. I think he has the potential to be amazing at the leash walking. Like I said, I have him here against the wall because if I thought I was going to struggle with him balancing, I, I don't want to do that. So, 